It's a little early in the morning, Hux. What'd you find washed up on our shores this time? One smart-ass demon and a human-born freelancer that's apparently vouching for him. A human-born? Untrained at that age? Oh my goodness. You really did find a treat. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Lasko. I'm the president of this academy. Though I imagine Huxley already told you that. Aren't you a little young to be an academy president? Tell that to our retention rate since I took over, Mr. Vindemiator. <laughs> that must be fun to spell. Well, Mr. Vindemiator, the board of advisors wanted fresh ideas, and I had them. One of them was squirreling away a little corner of this place for your kind. So put some respect on the title. I take it from that bruising that respect isn't something you're very familiar with. I give respect where it's earned. Mm. Well, then consider this my way of earning it. Thank you for bringing a human born here. Where they belong. I welcome you to the Imperial Academy of Dahlia and its haven. If you find a way to behave better than you apparently have thus far, you might just get to stay. <laughs> Take him away, Huxley. This freelancer and I have some things to discuss. Move it, pretty boy. <laughs> hmm? Wait a minute. What's that, my dear? <laughs> of course. Huxley, when you take Mr. Vindemiator to Avier, make sure you don't harm him any further along the way. Is that clear? <laughs> Crystal. Good. See that you don't. Run along then. Be well, freelancer. Oh, how could they not be? They're home now. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe having a new friend to play with will shut that and co it up for a bit. <laughs> a man can dream, right? <laughs> oh. I mean, if I would have known that harboring demons in the academy would have led to me being inundated with self-important lectures from that walking thesaurus, I might have thought twice about it. Uh, don't worry. Your friend will be fine. Huxley might not always play nice, but he knows how to follow orders. He's about as brain dead as the dirt he digs around in. But he's very good at what he does. In every regard. <laughs> uh, but that's enough about him. I want to know about you. It's not every day we get a new human born at our doorstep. Much less one at your age. I assume you're not registered with the Imperium as an empowered yet, are you? <laughs> I thought not. Don't worry, we'll take care of all of that. That's what we're here for. <sighs> you must have been keeping your powers a secret for quite a while. Why the sudden change of heart? Uh, don't get me wrong, I couldn't be happier that you're finally taking your rightful place in the Imperium, but what made you see the light now? Really? My goodness. I never thought I'd see the day when a demon would convince a human born to enter the fold. <laughs> this world does have a way of surprising us, huh? 
<laughs> I'm sure we can arrange some time for you to go see him later. But you both need some time to get settled in. And you and I have a lot to discuss first. So, you're a freelancer. Lots of potential there. <laughs> I mean, how exciting. What kind of abilities have you exhibited so far? Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, you won't have to think about suppressing them anymore. Just the opposite. But even trying to suppress them, some things must have slipped out. Mm. Makes sense. Psychokinesis is a common first exhibition among humanborns. How did it feel? Well, of course, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, an experience like that would be a bit scary at first. But there was something else there, too, wasn't there? An excitement. A thrill. The feeling of that core inside you warming up, coming to life. Magic flowing down your threads, filling you up. Racing through your blood, crackling at your fingertips. Underneath that initial panic and fear, it felt good, didn't it? Powerful. All that power is yours. You just have to let it in. And we can help with that. You don't have to hide what you are anymore. You don't have to live in fear of every stranger anymore. You don't have to deal with the resentful glares from the family who knows what you are and hates and fears you for it. Magic is something that an unempowered person can never really understand. They'll never know how it feels. What it means to be empowered. <laughs> and people fear and hate and resent what they don't understand. They're not really your family, that magic coursing through your veins, trying to get out, trying to find its kin, that is your future, bright, boundless, <sighs> you're human born. And that is such a gift, <laughs> one that I share. Our gift is to be a superior, empowered. We are magic made manifest in human form. I mean, think about it. When empowered families have children, of course they have powers. They're coming from a lineage of magical abilities. It, it just makes sense. But, but then when it comes to us... People like you and me, the human born, we're masters of magic where there's never been magic before. We're the definition of diamonds in the rough, beings that can tame arcane powers beyond an unempowered person's wildest imagination. And that power came to us from the weft and weave of magic itself. It, it, it chose us and, and we didn't just get it from the blood of our parents. Magic made us its vessel where there had never been magic before. <laughs> we, 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 uh, <laughs> 
You don't have to excuse me. <laughs> uh, mm. I haven't gone on a rant like that in a while. <laughs> mm. Been unbecoming of an academy president. I apologize. But I can't help but get excited at the prospect of a fellow human born finding their way home where they belong. And this is your home. The magical world. I remember when my powers manifested. I was young. We were in public picking up groceries. I got upset and wind just burst out of me. <laughs> it made a mess of the entire produce section. My mother took me home and tried to convince me that I needed to hide those powers, tamp them down, push them into some corner of my mind, and never let them out again. But too many people had already seen what I could do. The Imperium agents came to the door, explained to her what I was, what I could become, how they wanted to help me get there. They told her what an amazing gift I had, what an incredible future I had ahead of me. And hearing those words, for the first time in my life, I finally had some hope. A way out of a life that had been trying to crush me since the day I was born. But she didn't want that for me. She was selfish. Parents are supposed to want a better life for their kids. They're supposed to be proud of their successes. But all she saw was her investment being taken away. So she held on like a bear trap, trying to drag me down. She wouldn't let me go. She didn't want me to grow and learn. But my magic saved me. It rose up without me even having to command it. It knew what I needed. It pulled the air straight out of her greeny lungs until her grip on me went limp. And I packed up a bag, and I walked past her unconscious body, and I never looked back. The agents took me where I needed to go, and the Imperium became my family my home. And now I have the incredible privilege of making this academy that kind of place for people like you. You are magic. And you're going to be amazing. You already are amazing, just as you are. Nobody can take that from you. Not anymore. <laughs> I, for one, can't wait for you to meet everyone. 
I can't wait for this new life of yours to start. It's the most rewarding part of this job, seeing the good that can come from being where you're meant to be. Getting to see all the powers you'll learn, the connections you'll form that will last you a lifetime. <laughs> I more so meant the connections you'll make with your fellow empowered humans. <laughs> Humanborns, in particular. We've got groups here for our kind of people. I mean, we just share a lived experience that even magic-born humans will never quite understand. It's an incredible community, and I can't wait for you to be a part of it. I'm going to be honest with you. With how much you keep asking about that demon, I worry that he might be too much of a distraction from your education, and at a time in your learning as important as this one, we can't be having you get distracted. I think maybe you two need to stay separated for a while. Maybe a semester or two. Give yourself some time to settle into your new priorities. No, no, I think it's what needs to happen. <sighs> All right. I'm not. Completely heartless. <laughs> I can hear how much he means to you. Tell you what. We are going to get you signed up for your classes and get your accommodations set up. And if, after a couple of weeks, I see that you're really trying really making progress with your new education, we can talk again about setting up some visiting hours, okay? Okay. But I mean it. I need to see some real effort with the Imperial Curriculum. Promise me? All right. Well, then let's get you started on this new life of yours. 